In this video, I'm gonna share with you how I use Notion to organize my entire business. Now for a little context, my name is Edward Lee. I'm a filmmaker and content creator, and I've been running my own business for the last few years. Many of you know that Notion is a very powerful tool, but that also means that it can be very overwhelming when you're first getting into it. But I promise all the pages and templates that I'm going to provide with you in this video are very simple and easy to implement. Let's get into it. Now the first tool that I've created for myself within Notion to organize my business is proposals. Now this custom template that I've created is very simple and easy to use, but extremely effective. Essentially, before I would always just create a lengthy email or spend way too much time on a deck and share it with clients, but it wasn't really that intuitive. And honestly, a lot of times clients didn't even look at it. But now creating it in Notion, I'm able to share with them what I think is the project description, project location and mood board, project deliverables, project cost, and kind of the breakdown of it, and even the project timeline, all within Notion. Now, this is obviously an example project that I've just thrown into here, but basically, I created this toggle drop-down menu within the proposal, and now, when I share this with client, super clean, super aesthetic, and they're able to just go down this toggle list and access all the important information for the project. Let's say you wanna add an additional toggle to this list. We're gonna go ahead and add a title here, additional items. Well, let's turn this into a heading three. And all you have to do is shift right arrow, space, and it'll create a toggle menu. And within here on this toggle, you can add text, you can add images, you can add links. That's the great part about Notion is it's perfect for things like proposals because you could pretty much add any file, any copy, any text, right directly into Notion. What's even great about the share functionality within Notion is that you can actually allow them to edit and comment as well. The comment feature is really nice because they can actually open the link and make comments directly onto the Notion page. Here's an example of a project I just completed with a friend, Matthew and Sina, we went to LA, and this was kind of my overall overview that I wanted to pitch to him. And when I sent him the link, he was able to make comments directly on some of my notes, as you can see right here on the right side. This makes it extremely easy and it saves a ton of time so you don't have to go back and forth in a long email chain. The next thing I've created within Notion to organize my business is my projects tab. Now under my projects tab, I've created basically a workflow and pipelines to stay organized with all my projects. Now obviously for some context, since I'm a content creator, most of my projects fit in a bit of a content uh, pipeline or workflow, but you can customize each and every one of these steps in the pipeline or even the bucket. So as you can see here, I have personal content, production or integration. Productions like stuff that I do for clients, integrations are like brand deals or sponsorships. Now, as you see under production, for example, we have discovery and contract, pre-production, production, editing, revising, pending invoice, and a couple other hidden parameters. But what's nice about this pipeline is that let's say you do something else for work and it's not production, maybe it's sales, right? So you can have something like a sales, sales pipeline, and you can change these parameters. Instead of pre-production, you can change it to something else like discovery call or something like that. These are just parameters that you can change, but it's really customizable and you can really fine tune every step of your workflow. The more visibility that you have on your projects and what stage they're in, the more organized you're going to be when it comes to your business. Now this right here is my projects page in my actual business that I'm currently using. And so right here, you'll see a couple floating tiles. These are all projects and I'm able to drag and drop where they are in the pipeline. This is a custom workflow that I've created, but you can tweak it to your own needs. What's nice about this workflow in Notion is that this is essentially a database. So all these tiles are its own unique page. So for example, if I click on this project right here and I open it, it opens its own page and I can change all the parameters or add details from the project. And I kind of use this as my, you know, one-stop shop for all my project details once it's in the pipeline. Additionally, when you create a new project, you're able to open the page and set a bunch of parameters. So you see here, you can change the status of where it's in. These are all these custom statuses that I've made. 
What's nice is that all these properties are customizable. So if you want to add a property or something that will help you stay more organized and it's kind of a thing that comes up in each and every one of your projects, there are all these properties that you can now choose from to have it um, add each time you add a new project. What's nice about the properties as well is that you can change it for each of these pipelines. For example, my production pipeline and properties is a little different than working with a brand on the integration side. You can even have a file attachment as a property, which I really like. And especially when it comes to projects, you know, when clients are sending you creative briefs or concepts or links, you can add them in the properties. So for example, I have one here that's for creative briefs. And then here I can choose a file, attach the brief. So that way I'm not hunting in an email, man. When, when did they send me that brief? What did it say? I can access it right here in the projects tile in its specific page in my Notion dashboard. And last but not least, if you're not really a tile type of person and you'd much prefer like a table, you can do that too. There's different views that you can make within Notion. You can have a table view, you can have a board view, which is what we were just looking at. So you can get pretty uh, granular with it in terms of what you like. But again, this approach is really simple and super easy to implement. Next, let's talk about revenue. I love this custom revenue database that I created because it gives me a really good bird's eye view of how much money came in, where it came from. So the month the money came in, I've put all the months right here, the specific date it came in, let's just say it came in on January 5th right? And then we can have the client, the project, the campaign name, the service, right? And I put a bunch of tags here. Was it photo video? Was it consulting? Was it an affiliate deal? The amount, whether or not I charge sales tax, the method, right? Did they pay me wire transfer? Did they pay me PayPal or check? And then also the invoice. I like that I can attach the invoice in this database because I'm always losing the receipts and invoices from clients because it's buried somewhere in an email thread. Seeing this page in action, this is my revenue board for 2024 so far. And you'll see that I have a ton of projects that have already been going. We're now in June. And so you'll see that since January, I've been logging in my monthly income and it has my money in date, the client that I was working with, the project, what I did for them, the amount, and also the method in which they paid me. What's nice about having a database and chart like this that's regularly updated is now I can filter things out and learn more about my business. So for example, let's say I wanna see how much money I've made so far this year from just video jobs, right? So I could filter this chart right here, go to services and we'll check mark video. Now I can see how much I've made from all just video projects and what those video projects were, and then I can calculate the total sum. For me personally, I just like seeing the number grow in terms of like number of projects I'm able to land, but also it's a good kind of benchmark if I'm not doing too well, if I'm not getting enough client work. And this kind of helps me see the health of my business, what I'm working on from a bird's eye perspective. Am I working on too much YouTube deals? Am I working on too much client work? Because I'm able to tag it all, I can actually learn all the things about my business when it comes to year end. Now disclaimer, those revenue line items, I do add line by line. And so a lot of this stuff is kind of like manual entry. I think there are a few things you can do to automate, but for the most part, I'm not using Notion to automate my accounting. It's really just for reports and staying organized in terms of my business. You're going to need other softwares if you wanna manage like the actual accounting aspects of your business or the money and linking your bank accounts or even sending out invoices and contracts. You know, you're gonna to wanna to use other softwares for that. If you wanna know what other softwares I use to operate my business, shoot me a DM uh, at Edwardly Films and we can chat there. I've also created an expenses page for my business because as you know, monthly expenses and annual expenses can really stack up. And if you don't keep that organized before you know it, you're spending way too much money or you have subscriptions to things that you forgot you had subscriptions to. Again, it's, it's in a database like format and I've created monthly and an annual breakdown. So let's say I wanna add a new monthly expense and I'm adding it to help my business grow. So let's say it's Adobe, Adobe software, let's just say. And the cost of it is 40 bucks a month. The day it pulls out is every first of the month. The card you use, let's just say Chase business card and the payment method was a credit card. But I've changed a payment method to ACH or credit card because sometimes it pulls out of your bank, sometimes it's on a credit card. I like to know where the money's coming out from if I need to address it. 
to see this page in action, here's my actual monthly costs for my business. So I have business expenses monthly and then business expenses yearly. And I have things like my subscriptions, my leases, my accounting services. Having it all here is nice because then at the end of the year, you can audit it. That's what I do. And I look through, okay, did I actually use that service? Do I still need that service? And then I'm able to make sure I'm not, you know, overpaying or um, have subscriptions to things that I'm no longer using. Honestly, there are other softwares that you can use to kind of do this whole like expense tracking type deal. But again, I just like seeing it all within Notion because so much of my business is already here. It's really a one-stop shop and I'm trying to have as much as I can within Notion so I'm not clicking across a bunch of different apps. If you wanna duplicate any of these pages or templates into your own Notion dashboard, I made the template completely free, no strings attached, so you guys can just get started with organizing your business. This video was sponsored by Notion. I feel like that's, I don't even need to say that. Like this video is sponsored by Notion. Duh, like the whole video is about Notion. Thank you Notion for sponsoring this video, but truly such a seamless integration for my channel because I genuinely use Notion every single day for my business and my personal life. But if you have any questions about Notion and maybe anything I went over in this video, leave those in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to all of them.